what is cavitation and flashing so imagine this is your valve put in a line now with the flow there is some restriction put so you're going to have a dp or a differential pressure created to it so the upstream pressure is p1 and the downstream pressure is p2 now imagine that this is your vapor pressure curve so what happens when the fluid is going to be at this particular uh, region the fluid is going to change from liquid state to vapor state and this stage is called as the point where the liquid changes to vapor phase now at the exact opposite side if you notice the va the vapor is going to turn back into liquid state here what is going to happen is the the bubbles are going to burst to come back to liquid state which is called as popping which has very high velocities that can damage the valve and the piping downstream this entire phenomenon is called as cavitation now we look into the next case which is when there is flow to the valve but what happens is the pressure downstream does not recover this happens when the pressure downstream is still below the vapor pressure curve this phenomenon here makes the liquid to still stay in the vapor pressure phase in the downstream and this phenomenon is called as flashing what happens here is imagine that this is your valve and this is your pressure drop happening we are very sure with the concept that if we increase dp there is going to be an increase in flow but we keep increasing dp at a point of time flow will not increase this point is called as choked flow 